News 6's Nadine Giannis was there in minutes after the crash and read through the dozens of documents on that driver. And Nadine, does this driver still have a job? Lisa, he does, though Link says he was not on the road today. Link's releasing that driver, Steven Silva's driving records to us today. They also sent a memo to all bus drivers on how to drive when the roads are wet and what to do when it comes to overcorrecting. Both factors, Link says, may have contributed to the crash right here yesterday. Exercise increased caution when streets are wet. Reduce speed and use extra caution while driving on curved roads. This safety memo was sent out to all Lynx bus drivers today after New 6 was there right as passengers were being rescued from this flipped Lynx bus at I-4 West and OBT yesterday. I tried to straighten it out. The driver, Steven Silva, telling us what happened afterwards. There's a turn. A wiggle turn. Bus tipped to the side and started sliding. New 6 took the same drive today. In the same lane, Lynx told us Silva was in when he slightly entered the lane to the left after a lane shift, then overcorrected his turn. They say the roads were wet, the road surface had just changed, and Silva was going two to six miles above the speed limit. No, I completely understand it. Driver Kendra Harris sympathized with the bus driver, saying the lane shifts on that stretch of I-4 are difficult to navigate. Just trying to get through there, it's not safe at all. It really is, and it's way too sharp for an interstate. Link's releasing Silva's driving records today, which shows he was hired in April and had eight weeks of training. His evaluation showing he was a safe driver, had good driving on the highway, and little to no issues. However, those records also included two minor accidents, both in June. Silva's bus hitting another bus's mirror, and three weeks later made a curbside contact with a stopped car in traffic. And so Silva had two written warnings for both of those minor accidents. No word on what he may be facing now after this crash. We do know OPD is investigating. We also wanted to know if FDOT or SGL, the contractors on the I-4 Ultimate project, might be looking at those lane shifts and maybe looking at any improvements. Lisa, the questions we're asking and the answers we're getting today in my story tonight at 6 o'clock. Back to you. Nadine, thank you.